Their memory serves as an example to us all! The courageous fallen! The anguished fallen! Their lives have meaning because we, the living, refuse to forget them! And as we ride to certain death, we trust our successors to do the same for us! Because my soldiers do not buckle or yield when faced with the cruelty of this world! My soldiers push forward! My soldiers scream out! My soldiers rage! Well, hi there, y'all. We're gonna do a lofty reset today. Yeah, 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 sorry. We don't talk like that in Texas. But this is gonna be a lofty reset, and let's see how we get started. Alright, this will be one of three times we're going to have to reset our points. And these are all for a specific purpose. The first reset will be used to lower the cooldown on all of your lofty text that you plan on resetting. So it is going to be 42 points all the way to the right. Do not select the very last one to the right. It has nothing to do with doing a reset. Then you're going to come up here and all of these are level sensitive. I can't exactly remember uh, the level requirement on each of them. But this one right here is 90. And obviously with the third one unlocking at level 70. And once you did that, you're going to come over here and reset all of the ones that you plan on resetting and doing again. Uh, the very first portion up to the point where you unlock each specific troop type. Uh, will cost you around 35,000 war badges. That is the cheap way to go. It's not a bad option if you're a free to play player. The next section of six, after you unlock each specific troop type, I believe is around 65,000 war badges. And it just gets much more expensive the further you go down into each troop tree. The next reset of your points is specifically done to lower the time it takes to complete each tech, uh, which is why you see in other videos and you'll see in this one that the ones at the very beginning are free, quote unquote, and it's only free in accordance to the time it takes to complete them. Uh, you're still using resources, so it's not free, it just doesn't cost you any time. Uh, but here, you're going to go 42 points to the left, avoiding the last one, just like the last time. And you're going to go 22 down in order to go to the center here. And this is going to lower the cost of war badges by 250, which doesn't sound like a lot. But it makes a lot of the ones at the very beginning here actually free when it comes to war patches used. And it will save you a considerable amount of war badges when doing a massive reset like this. Another thing to point out is the fact that the cooldowns on the text that you've reset will not start until you restart those texts uh, which is why you see me going down the list here and just a massive amount of points at the beginning is because I want all the cooldowns to be finished and able to be redone on the same day 
is if you spread them out throughout the day just trying to get as many tech power hourlies as you can which you can get a lot but what you'll end up having is each tech being hours apart because you waited to get certain tech power hourlies in between speed up hourlies and stuff like that because you're not going to get any points off of these free techs on the speed up hourlies they don't count because they're free uh, so it can affect the next reset you want to do because the cooldowns are hours apart from each tech so just be aware of that when doing your uh, resets uh, if you notice what I did is I just went down the list and unlocked all of them and got at least one into each every one of them uh, just so I could get the cooldowns to be uniform and along the same time for the next reset I do.
Okay, now we're to our last reset. And this is going to be where your lofty points sit uh, until your next reset. So choose them wisely. Uh, I'm going to go right for footmen and up for all troops. I'll also be using some of the skills up at the top of the lofty tech tree. Uh, which I've heard mixed reviews about. Uh, feel free to let me know in the comments if you've already used them and they suck or if you use them and they're good. Uh, I haven't used them before and I've heard mixed reviews so I'm just going to try them out. Feel free to let me know if I uh, missed anything or if I uh, should do something different. I'm not perfect at this. This is just the way I know how to do it. If you know a better way, feel free to let me know in the comment section or point me to another video that somebody did better. So It's all a learning experience for me, and that's the only reason I'm doing it. Just trying to help people see how to do it a little bit better and just different ideas on how to do it. Thanks.